Welcome back to Living on Motorsports Engineering. Good Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me back. No problem, man. You're welcome. So this is our 2017 Ford F-150 3.5 EcoBoost. Uh, some of the exterior items that you'll see on this. We've got a set of 22-inch Toyo tires wrapped around 22-inch dub wheels. It's got a 6-inch lowering kit on it. Another exterior feature you'll see on the back side here. We do have a dual exhaust setup which is a big performance gain on the F-150 EcoBoost. You can see we've got the two exiting the back here. We also offer a side dual exhaust system that comes out the right side of the truck with a dual three inch tip on it. And they've also come in both chrome and the black color like you see here. Uh, very nice accent on the truck and very good for performance gains. Right, right. Now on the turbo engine, the best gains are gonna be from the exhaust side. Absolutely. Not the intake side. Not the intake. So. One of the biggest things you can do is the exhaust. A lot right, of people, right. they want to do the downpipes first because they're a little bit less, but you get less gain from that. Right, right. So you start off with the exhaust first, then you can upgrade to the downpipes. Right. Then you get the maximum out of the exhaust. Right, right. So if you had a limited budget, start on the exhaust. Absolutely. You'll get the most bang for your buck that mm -hmm. way. Yep. You got airflow coming in through your grill, coming up through uh this area Up here through this snout basically and into this huge right. and the factory even went as far to add like a damming feature what would you call this like a wall it's almost like a wall to create that seal yeah you know made right into the plastic so if you got a cold air intake that's not making use of that factory opening you know you're defeating the purpose of it. defeating the purpose of it yeah you're not going to be able to catch all the air coming right from this area here right so right. if you if you trim this remove it do whatever and some people, they like to remove a lot of this trim here and basically take away because they think they're going to let hot air out of the engine bay. Right, right. Well, it does, but it also affects how much air you have coming into your cold air intake. Right, right. Now, the factory intake system is good, but going from this, instead of dropping down and going under the factory air filter, you're going straight back to your filter now. Straight in. So the deluxe elbow here, which actually is a bigger unit and it runs down to both turbos here and it accepts a lot of air to go equally to each turbo. Right, right. So it is calibrated for equal disbursement of the air to each turbo. Right, right. And you get to the side where you can't see what we do, but you get to the, the tuning end of it. Right, right. So we're able to tune these things now. We don't have a remote tune for them yet. We are working on it. It should be out very shortly. Right. We're thinking maybe month and a half to two months right and right. once we can do them like that and these things are gonna be flying all over the place correct me if I'm wrong but I believe that's because this 3.5 on the 17 model is a brand new engine for 17 yes so they would and, and they added a lot of different stuff they changed the turbos a little bit mm -hmm. they added dual injection and they probably did a couple other things actually matter of fact I think they this is the first time they did a um, electronically controlled wastegate for the turbos yes because before I believe they were actually we're actuated off vacuum. Run off vacuum. So, so these are electronic now. Uh, we can still tune them, but right. what you've got to do is pull out your PCM out of the truck, bring it in to us. Obviously, if you're a local guy in Michigan or Ohio, it's not a big deal. You can bring it up and we can do it for you. It's done within a day, so you can pick it up the next day. Right, right. You put it in the truck, and you're going to gain roughly about 50 horsepower over stock and roughly about 30 foot pounds of torque. Right, right. So. And that's one of the biggest things that you can do, best bang for the buck, hands down. And now that's just tuning your 3.5, leaving everything else stock. Yep. Stock exhaust and stock intake. Stock air box, stock exhaust, everything else. So. Right. Now, if you go ahead and do intake and exhaust, you can obviously gain more. Yes. Yep. Now, this truck here, last time we had it on the dyno with this cold air kit, the exhaust, and our tune, we made about 400 rear wheel horsepower. When you're not on it, you don't really hear too much of a difference or too much drone or anything. No, we're just cruising along. We're basically cruising about 50 mile an hour right now. You and me are just having a real simple conversation, talking in a normal voice. Uh, you don't really hear any exhaust note at all. There's no drone. And uh, you have a nice sound when you do actually get on it. And uh, you might be able to attract the attention of someone walking down the sidewalk. And, wow, that thing sounds good. Right, sounds right. Nice. This truck here, last time we had it on the dyno with this cold air kit, 
the exhaust and our tune, we made about 400 rear wheel horsepower. Right, down to the wheels. Yes. Right. You know, which is way better than what is actually at the crank. From the factory. Yeah. Right. So. From the factory, you're talking 385 horsepower? Mm-hmm. That's a lot of horsepower to make on the on the, on the on the wheels at the wheels, and you know this is a ten speed ten speed transmission too. Yes. So yeah, there, there's a lot of upgrades really fast from Ford. So you really it's hard to have that remote tune. Yeah, but we've got some new software that's going to be coming out. We're actually working with a program company right now, so we can have a handheld device. Right, right. That you'll be able to basically take a you know remote tune, or we can actually do it for you right at the shop. You can drive your vehicle in. We can take and pull your codes, build a tune for you, build a file, download it into your vehicle, and send you down the road. So, and then you'll also be able to actually interface with some of the instrumentation of the truck too, to where you could read, you know, say a boost number, or even oil pressure, trans temperature. There'll be settings into where you could view up to, I believe, it's four screens. So, so are you are you upgrading that that programmer? Yes. Basically, mm -hmm. so you guys are coming out with a sweet programmer. Yeah. So. Yeah, it'll be a big, big uh, improvement over right, right. one. Because right now you guys don't have the fancy, fancy programmer. You Correct. just got, you know, it still does the job, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's just the little, you know, little box. Yeah, the calibrator, my calibrator. But unfortunately, you can't see any kind of live data. On right, it. right, and that's the big thing now is seeing that live data. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to see that come out. That makes two of us, man. Well, probably makes thousands of us. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so as far as like the other components in the engine your uh was it called cools the air before it gets into the intake before after it's charged oh you're talking the intercooler. intercooler yeah yeah intercooler uh that's still stock on uh, the truck right uh we haven't really found anybody who's made a really nice intercooler for a lot of the ecoboost products right uh we do sell an upgraded one for some of the older trucks okay so they're they're you know they are out there just we don't have anything for this newer style yet and uh Really, we haven't been able to put it to the test to see what it can handle, but we'll get there. Okay, but you know what? There's something else that you guys do to these. Uh, I'm not sure if you do it yet for this new model, but there is some kind of a fuel pressure pump upgrade, a high pressure fuel yep. pump upgrade. Yeah. Now, in my opinion, that sounds like a good thing to have because if you increase that pressure on the fuel, will it have more of a cooling effect when it comes out or no? I don't know. Not really a cooling effect, but if you're running out of fuel, because you've got the mods done to the truck. You need more fuel. You need more fuel. And if it is running a little bit lean, it is gonna create more heat. Right. And you have do more, you know, more of a chance of pre-ignition or detonation, which is gonna take timing out of the vehicle and right. rob you, right. you know, horsepower. So yeah, our high pressure fuel pumps are available. The biggest difference that we're finding with them is you can run big horsepower numbers and you don't run out of fuel. Right, right. And we've even done some E85 stuff with, uh, the Ford Taurus show. We haven't done any E85 conversion with the F-150 yet, but I'm sure someone out there is probably going to be interested in doing that. Now, with this setup, though, you don't need to go anything. You don't need to go into that pump for nope. this setup. Nope. Nope. It would definitely help you out because then you know that you're not going to run out of fuel. Plastic. One of the reasons that we keep the plastic cover off of the engine is when you have everything covered up like this, it tends to hold a lot of heat in. Okay. So if you can get some heat out of that and away from the engine, it's going to run cooler and run better. Wow. Never thought about that. Yeah. It doesn't look as uh, cosmetically... Fancy, but... Fancy is a good word for it, uh, but it is uh, a little bit practical. Right, right, okay. So, yeah, it's just pretty cool to see how massive this thing is. Like, the, the, the internet don't do it justice. This thing is actually, like, no joke. This is a big, yeah, you know, unit. Yeah, you up from the very front of the truck here to almost all the way to the back at the uh or where the master cylinder goes so essentially you guys made this as big as you can make it absolutely yeah you want to have a good amount of volume stored in this box so when you floor the truck or you want that power it can actually pull the air that's in here into the turbos and give you the best power you can possibly have and then you've obviously got the ram air effect so it's going to go ahead and continue to fill this as you're driving down the road at wide open throttle okay so when the tune when you come in and do the tuning and you get well you got obviously not remote yet but is the tuning specific obviously to your intake that you add in the exhaust what about guys that run different exhaust uh brands there's not that much of a big difference with that uh like a corsa or something yep. like that uh, we haven't tested trucks with the corsa yet 
but as customers bring them to us and we run them on our dynos in-house, we collect that data and we put it in a file. Okay. So if a customer called us from, say, California and said, Scott, you know, I want to run your cold air windstorm kit. I've already got a course of dual exhaust system on the truck. We've got that on file. We can send it right to his email. He can pull it right out of our server, download it onto the device, and uh, put it in the truck, and he's ready to go with another 60 horsepower. Right, right. And that's where a lot of our data comes from, especially on the older trucks, because we've been doing these things for so long. We've had a lot of combinations come in. That's why we can remote tune pretty much about any combination you have. Okay. So if you had just an aftermarket exhaust system on it and you had a factory air box and you wanted our tune, no problem. If it's 100% stock, still no problem. Or if you've got something, you know, maybe you bought a K&N cold air kit and you had a Banks exhaust system or whoever's, you know, we've got tunes for that. So right, right. that's no problem. But it'd be easier too if you could just get there in person. Yes. You know, we prefer that, but you know, uh, we do have customers come in from all over the place. You know, we were talking early. I told you we had people in from Texas. You know, they ship their cars up, uh, California, Florida, Southern Florida. Uh, so we get them in from all over the place. Uh, shipped up from trucks. Sometimes customers on an install like this. It's a pretty easy install. We can usually have this done in a couple of days. We've had people come up here. They'll stay a couple of days at one of the local motels. Maybe go hit the Henry Ford Museum. Have some fun seeing the local attractions. So is that pretty much all we got on this? That's pretty much it, man. You know, it's kind of complicated, but still pretty simple and very elegant. Let's get an exhaust note so we can see how uh, that yeah. EcoBoost exhaust Perfect. Uh, sounds. <laughs> That's pretty much it for this truck. This is our first F-150 spotlight. There'll be more to come. Uh, if I get more time, I'm gonna come here and do some more touring of the, of the Livernois shop. So be looking out for that. And uh, thank you for watching our channel. Great to have you. I appreciate it. We appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Thank you for watching the first F-150 spotlight. A uh, new series I'm kicking off on this channel. Uh, thank you, Livernoise Motorsports, for uh, participating in this uh, new uh, new thing that I'm doing. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm just out here walking my dog. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, F-150 Spotlight in the comment section below. And uh, let me know if you want to put your F-150 in our show. And uh, I'll come film it, talk about the modifications that that you have done to your truck and uh, basically do the same thing that we did here today with uh, Living Risk Motor Sports. So thanks a lot and uh, have a great day. Bye.